Hey guys, this is Bharadwaj with phonearena.com and this is the Motorola Moto G that we recently unboxed. So a lot of people have been asking us about the features of the Motorola Moto G because it's understandable, it's very cheap, it's ridiculously cheap. It costs just $179 for the 8GB version. We got this from UK so it uh, pretty much costs a little bit extra but uh, nothing much. But seriously, this is a ridiculously cheap device and of course there has been a cut down of features. So for example, one lacking feature that we found was that uh, there is no wireless display option. You have this option even in uh, small uh, devices like the Canvas HD, which was exterior, but still, you know, uh, it has the option being a cheap device, but uh, the Motorola Moto G doesn't have that option. You can see that the wireless display option here is missing. So one of these uh, features have been cut down what other features we were wondering and uh, a question was asked like whether will it support usb otg that's the usb on the go functionality having eight gigabytes of memory people would really like that uh, you know connect a pen drive or even a hard disk and watch movies on these on the go that's not actually optimal because that uh, for that reason tablets exist but still if people want to quickly transfer files from the phone to the pen drive the USB OTG option is pretty good. So does the Moto G support USB on the go? Let's find out. So this pen drive, you, you might have seen us unboxing it, the verbatim USB on the go pen drive. This is a beautiful product that has USB on one end and micro USB on the other end, enabling USB OTG here. So let's connect this and see whether USB OTG works. So we just connected it. And uh, since the file manager is lacking on the uh, Moto G. We have installed ES File Explorer, which is a free utility. So opening it up, you can see that straight away it has jumped into USB disk 1.1.1, which is obviously the pen drive. You can see that when we disconnect it, it should close up. So it's not actually accessible right now. It's not found. It does not instantly refresh, but you get the idea. You can also connect USB OTG uh, cable converters, like for example, this one. This is a USB OTG converter, and you can also connect other pin drives with uh, full USB ports. Pretty self-explanatory this. You can see that the MIMO board will also work. So inside the OTG Explorer, you can see that it has refreshed indeed. So let's go into a folder and open up some photo. So you can see that it can indeed read from the uh, USB disk. That's the photos that we uh, recently took. There's the Chromebook and a lot of other, you know, ju just stuff that we took uh, usually for our unboxing and stuff. But not only that, you can also, in case you really want to, connect other accessories like for example a PS3 controller which we will be using for playing games on the Moto G but also a wireless keyboard and mouse connector. If we connect this, it can actually access mouse and keyboard functionality. You can see the mouse right there and here's the keyboard which will indeed work in all places. For example, this is the Chrome browser that we have. You can see that this will indeed work well. That's the full website there, you can see. I'm scrolling with the mouse and typing with the keyboard as you can see from here. So pretty awesome if you are into this kind of uh, functionality. You, you even have a task manager. So yeah, that's the USB OTG functionality of the Moto G. So if you've been wondering if it works, it does work and it does work with a lot of uh, other devices like a keyboard and mouse and a pen drive of all sorts. It even works with a PS3 controller, we have tried gaming on it, it does work, but we'll be showing you that in a separate gameplay demo. So we hope you enjoyed this video, there's a lot of Moto G coverage coming up on 
our YouTube channel. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want more videos like these. And do hit the like button if you like this video. Thanks for watching and let us know what you think in the comment section below.